buddy of mine, Josh from timelapsecamera.com, sent me this new time lapse camera because I had bought a couple of time lapse cameras from him in the past to do some work and um, had some, you know, minor tweaks or some things that I didn't like about the current time lapse camera. So he said, hey, I tell you what, I'm going to send you this one, do a couple time lapses with it and tell me what you think. So now I'm going to tell him what I think. This is the Aphidus time lapse camera and it's got some significant upgrades from the ones that I have used in the past. There is a lot of reasons why you should have a dedicated time lapse camera if you're doing video or you're a content creator for, for anything. You'll find tons of uses for it. And the best one that I've used so far is this Aphidus. It is a really, really great camera and it's all ready to go, weatherproofed, long battery life, and you can put the micro SD storage that you need in there, uh, all in this little uh, form factor here. So what I've done with it, I've really liked it. It's actually made me take a lot more time lapse and get back into using that as another tool in the arsenal for, for video. Everybody that's got a phone or a GoPro knows that they're, they have a time lapse feature. It's great for anything, probably around one hour to two hours of a time lapse. Something like a long-term time lapse camera is great for, I think this one uh, with set for a picture every minute can go uh, a month. It can go about 90 days with the settings of a picture every five minutes on just four AA batteries that go right in there. So this is truly a, a long-term solution for time lapse. And the cool thing about that is a lot of times, you know, things take longer than 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 two hours or one hour, two hours. So now with the dedicated camera, I can film something, you know, the GoPro or my phone that I normally would have up and I would only be able to get a time lapse for a couple hours. Now I can film all day with the time lapse and go in and film some of the action with my phone or GoPro or DSLR that, that is not being used to take the time lapse. It's really a nice piece of equipment that everybody should have if they do any videos. Another thing with, with long-term cameras in the past is they don't have a lot of bells and whistles because they're trying to preserve that energy to, to last as long as they can taking the pictures. And this ha has the same thing, except it has an app. So you can actually have a nice big view of what it's looking at. You adjust the, the optical zoom, and we'll get into that in a minute. And then all the settings are done right from the app. You connect to it through Wi-Fi, uh, you open the app, and then you connect to the camera and you can do all the settings. It's really nice. And then when you press record, you hear a couple beeps and it disconnects from, from the camera. Now, the reason it does that, and that's a little jarring because we're used to being able to go in and out of devices. It's not a bad thing, just the way they decided to do it, but it's something that you kind of have to get used to because uh, it's a little jarring when the beep goes, all right, you're done for, for, the, time, for the time being. But it's, it's, it's what it has to do to, to preserve the power. Another thing they did with this camera is they made an optical zoom. I mean, this thing is, it's, it's amazing. Uh, you, you log into the app, you can control the optical zoom, not a digital zoom, and it'll zoom right up on whatever you're, you know, looking at, and it'll get super sharp and super close. A nice macro for anyone doing science projects, you know, cocoons, flowers, uh, literally anything you want to do that you need to be super close up. It gives you a great image with this zoom and it's a really cool thing also to set up the shots because you can start out wide and even if it's not super tight you just want to get in closer you're not wasting a lot of space on stuff that you don't want to record so it's a, a really nice feature and uh, really like that another thing is the file storage obviously it's on the sd card inside but it wraps it up into an mpeg so you don't have to worry about a whole bunch of images to color correct and get right or put together and make a movie as soon as you hit end, it wraps it up and you have the uh, MPEG ready to go, import into Final Cut Pro and do whatever you want. So that's a huge, huge advantage, I think, to, for something like this, to just be able to just capture it and go. The only thing I can ding this for, and I'll see if I can show it, is when you take the batteries out, there, the SD card is, isn't kind of located on the outside anywhere you can get to it easily. You have to take the battery out and then there's a little push button in the corner that you gingerly kind of have to take out the SD card. And then to put it back in, you have to lay it on at an angle 
and get it just right. Slide it up this groove until it clicks in, and then it's in. That the the that's the the really the only thing that I'm digging it. I'm not digging it on image quality. Uh, the app is super easy to use. The batteries last long enough to do whatever you need to do. The files are easy to work with. Uh, it literally is just uh, the location of the SD card, which really isn't a big deal. So for the rating, I give this little Fittis a uh, nine out of 10, just because it's making me do more time-lapse and I love doing time-lapse and I just kind of set it and forget it. So if you need something like this for a, a video a project, a long-term, obviously a long, long-term construction project, uh, I would highly recommend that this is the camera you get. Uh, it's been a fun little camera to explore and, and, and get, to, get to use. So that's the rating for the Aphidus, and you can get it at timelapsecamera.com. Uh, and uh, you won't be disappointed. It's a nice, a very nice piece of equipment. So then you have the ST card. They give you a tool to use, but it's, it, you, you get used to it. You get easy how to do it. And then to put it back in, uh, 